It's a dream come true for a couple in Maine celebrating their 67th wedding anniversary. It's not a trip to an exotic far off land, but a trip to where Cupid fired his arrow. NECN's Elisa Burnell reports. We went into debt. At times, they weeks, sounded like another dollars. tight twosome together from back in the 40s. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. How does it feel? How does it feel? I don't know. How does it know. feel? We've been married so long that uh, we only have feelings for each other. That's what happens when you've been playing off each other for nearly 70 years. I never had another girlfriend. She's had a few boyfriends, but nothing ever serious. <laughs> when I spotted her, that was it. Red hair and blue eyes. And Winthrop Loring got his girl. Winthrop and Alice Loring married in 1938 and raised their family here in Berwick, Maine. The state of Maine, the town of Berwick, District 145, would like to recognize you for having been married for 67 years. After a time out west, they're in New England again now down the road a piece in Dover, New Hampshire. But they always wanted to come back to Berwick, Maine. All these are new houses. And see how things in town have changed. When we came down here the first time, the elder bushes were growing right over the road so you couldn't get through here. The cherry on the top of their day? Oh, a picnic near a favorite old swimming hole. Come on, old man. The whole outing was put together by a group called Ageless Dreamers. It's like Make-A-Wish for our oldest generation, helping to make their dreams come true. There may be somebody living alone at home, and it's a neighbor, and you know that they would love to go do X, and they're always small. Widmark is founder of the nonprofit Ageless Dreamer Foundation. The Loring's anniversary party is the foundation's first event. The words can't say. Just if my heart were showing, you could you could see it. The Lorings had no trouble letting their feelings show. Yeah, we've been crazy always. <laughs> Still crazy after all these years. In Berwick, Maine, Elissa Burnell, NECN. The Ageless Dreamer Foundation will host another upcoming event for our oldest generation. Saturday, a 100-year-old woman will get to take a spin on a Harley. And any other folks over the age of 80 can take a spin for free at Seacoast Harley-Davidson in Northampton, New Hampshire, from 10 until 2. Nice stories. We've covered. Very much so.